Hello there guys and girls, this is Brush Prince with another Total War Attila Terminal match and this time it is going to be not Cup of Nations <laughs> but in fact it's the new era 1v1 tournament and uh, it's going to be the match between Balor of Agartha playing as the West Roman Empire and BX Barracus of VOD in command of the Ostrogoths so uh going to put it on slow motion and we'll see how it actually goes so for the Ostrogoths we have up front four Germanic archers uh, gothic general bronze 2 with brace in terms of cavalry we see five Germanic horsemen uh, two silver one th three bronze three actually one of those three is bronze too, my bad. Uh, we have a noble Germanic swordsman all the way on the right and his front line, let's see. Four Gothic Palatina defectors and in the back, a mix of Thracians and Gothic Warband. So we have two Gothic Warband and one Thracian warrior. Okay. And no upgrades on the infantry whatsoever. Now four. Four Western Romans, let's see. It's a Palatina Guard, uh, Brace General, and let's see the rest. We have a bunch of Scolae Palatina, it's five of those, I would have expected the sixth. So that is a change for, uh, for Balor, usually he brings more. Then he has four Balistari, this is crazy. No, he has three Balistari, still crazy I think, and two Funditores. Uh, he has a Herculiani Senioris over here. And in the center we see a bunch of Army Gary Defensores. It's he has six of those. Uh, let's see, three, four, five are bronze, one, one is vanilla. And up front two Western Auxilia Palatina. So uh Yeah, it will be interesting how this one goes, but I'm not so sure about the the Roman build actually. I think it's just kind of gonna get stomped by this Ostrogothic build because these bodies starry they will die to Germanic archers no problem and there's three of them even so it's gonna be difficult for uh, Rome to pull this one off and he doesn't even have a sixth cavalry unit he has just five cavalry units no sixth Scolae Palatina I think that is a huge blunder uh, by the Western Roman player here so yeah, things are progressing. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Funitor is gonna get focused here by the Germanic archers. Not going to be a problem. They're just going to die very, very easily. Same thing over here. I mean, looks like the West Romans are I, I don't think the, the engagement here is good by the Western Romans. So he's taking a skirmish engagement with Fonditoris, and these guys are just not going to make it. They have three armor, and they have 80 health, so they're going to die very quickly, as you can see here. This is a very bad engagement for the Western Romans, already losing so many Fonditoris. Fonditoris could do a lot of damage to Germanic archers, but not like this. At this point, half a you. Basically, all, this unit is almost dead right now. This unit has taken significant damage, already looking really bad for the Western Romans. Skirmish engagement is not going in their favor. I mean, he is wasting ammunition, I guess, but still plenty of ammo for the Germanic archers. I guess he thinks he can waste enough that the Balistari can, uh, can then be... can have no problems dealing with the... Uh, with the actual swords and not be and Cavan not be annoyed by these Germanic archers. I guess that's his hope with loose formation at least, but uh, that's pretty risky and I don't think I like that choice. <laughs> to be fair. That's not really good use of the Funditoris, I think. So it looks like the Western Romans are pushing forward. And uh, we'll see about this though. Ooh, flaming shot going to hit the Scully Palatina as well. Hiding back the Ostrogoths, that is just a little bit. 
front line of Gothic Palatina defectors. Again, these guys are fairly good units, and uh, with Testudo, because again they have the the, def the attacking Testudo, they'll do fairly well against uh, cavalry if they get charged. It looks like the engagement is going to start soon, so West Roman sending in spear support for this engagement, but I think that the Ostrogoths have more support nearby. Uh, so. Looks like uh, the Studo was engaged here, but not sure how effective it's actually going to be. I guess it is somehow braced, that unit that is, but it's still dying quite rapidly to the charge. It was still, it still did some damage, but now the Scully Palatina should start dying. Uh, Army Gary Defensor is coming through. Germanic Horsemen doing very well here. Scully Palatina down to 49. Balistari starting to fire. Not quite sure at what. You can see Flaming Shot going to town here, routing this uh, Scully Palatine. Again, the Scully Palatine are just going to die to Germanic Horsemen, because Germanic Horsemen are better. Army Gary Defensoris will lose to Gothic Warband. So all these engagements that are happening here are very good for the Ostrogoths. Besides maybe losing this Germanic Horseman, but other than that, Scully Palatine here will not be cost effective. It's getting some kills. And even on the Gothic Journal, which is nice, but not being cost effective at all. As it is outnumbered heavily. This flaming shot is just doing wonders. Western Auxilia Palatina not able to do much either. This Gothic Warband, it's gonna have a field day against the Army Gary Defensoris. Uh, in the center, the Army Gary are losing to Gothic Palatina defectors as well. Western Auxilia Palatina pulling out against Gothic Palatina defectors means they're gonna take even more casualties. And this flank has been routed for the Western Romans. Uh, no hope whatsoever for them. Still Gothic Warbands that are alive here. And the Gothic General is pushing through at this point. Very, very nice. If he goes for a rear charge onto these Army Gary, I mean, he's already in the Balistari. It's just looking horrible for the Western Romans this game. Balistari going down these guys too uh, it's not good engagements at all by West Rome and this Herculiani it's going to do fairly well against these gothic warbands but I mean it's gonna get flanked there's gonna be cap charges in its rear so since it's since it's uh, just like a sword unit and it's heavy it's not very heavy it's still gonna take massive damage from rear charges. Even even very heavy melee infantry would take a lot of damage too, but heavy even more. So yeah, the Balistari unable to do too much. They got charged, not looking great for them. Noble Germanic's going to destroy these army gary here. Palatina guards, of course, going to lose the Gothic Palatina defectors. His Palatina guards are a fairly terrible unit, but he wanted I'm not sure why he brought the uh, Palatina guards instead of Magister Mill of them, honestly. Like it feels like a very weird choice to me I don't understand it Magister Militum is very very good I mean unless he wanted a sixth Scully Palatine which he didn't bring but anyway more Germanic horsemen coming through here against uh, the Scully Palatine and you can see here the Scully Palatine are going to actually lose to these Germanics it is insane how much better the Germanics are than the Scully Palatine same thing gonna happen over here. Just not enough units on the field for Western Romans. It's just a massacre uh, in the Ostrogoths' favor. You can see over here these Germanic horsemen mopping up the rest of the units. And more damage being done here by uh, these Thracians. I mean, the Thracian warriors are insane on their own. These Herculiani are not holding out at all. So the Funditoris routed off the field. Scully Palatina is still alive, but not for long. Still a melee engagement over here, but army getting getting charged by Gothic Warband and Gothic Palatina defectors. I believe it's these guys. Where exactly are the Palatina defectors? Oh, Noble Germanics. This is a Palatina defector unit. So the crossbows off the field. Not much damage done for us Romans. I think bringing three crossbows. It's an interesting choice, but they are expensive, so... Uh, bringing two might have just been a safer choice for the Romans, and bringing a sixth Scully Palatina, I feel. But yeah, that is uh, the game, so it looks like Balor is going to be out of the tournament in round one. 
after losing to VODs uh, VODs BX Barracus. So yeah, hope you guys guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, don't forget to comment or subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus, share the video, and I'll see you next time.